Thank you for giving yourself another charge, dumb. <laughs> Friday world, and we're gonna be talking about that cost in that situation. So I waited a few days because I wanted to make sure that I got all the information that I needed and kind of got the right details for what's going on and kind of break down everything that really happened with this car sonat and this woman that's alleging that he paid for the okay and ran off on her and basically finessed and lied to her. That's her story and we're coming out with the truth. So first thing, that woman is lying and we're going to break down each part of this because there's a certain type of lie that a lot of women in this type of industry that do this type of clout chase their IG thought type of behavior, it's called a lie of omission. A lie of omission is like if someone said, did I take your money? And they said no, but they literally saw your bread, saw where it was, and then let someone else grab it that they knew who are going to benefit from that money. They didn't lie to you. They just said that they didn't take it. So giving this some context. The story that happened with this young woman and Kai Sinat is that Kai Sinat and her obviously had a link. They did their own thing. Um, she was feeling his vibe. She was feeling her vibe. And the only thing that he paid for was a lift and an Uber for her to come to his crib. Now, as she got to his crib, we already know they did their own thing. But her comment and allegation first, we're going to be going one by one. We're going to go in a chronological format, not a story by story format. What happened was that as she approached in the crib and as they did their own thing after they you know, got comfortable and linked a few times, as she made it clear with what she stands on, he said, well, you know, I got homies, I have people that do their own thing too. If you know you are OnlyFans or whatever model that you, you know, are, you know, they might be interested as well. But that's all he spoke on it. There's no text proof of this. This is her word, which I'll have to have respect for and have to acknowledge, not say as truth, but acknowledge there is an aspect of what she said to be true which is he probably did at some point say that oh you know i have homies there are people too we're vibing you know if that's your type of business then that's them but he did not sell her to any of them she called this man p diddy jr to me that is so disgusting and so disrespectful and i want to really come out and really speak on that part first you're calling a young man that had a consensual and respectful relationship with you as you all fell out the same as a man who's done disgusting and horrible things to generations of black young men and black women in the industry. Shame on this broad fam. Shame on this IG thought for comparing a young black man, a young black millionaire, a young black millionaire who tries to better and help other people, a young black millionaire that tries to better and help other people with a conscience and compared him to a man that's done some of the most disgusting and vile things in hip hop history in this decade, in this millennia? Not even speaking on his Tupac stuff, not even speaking on the way he did uh, <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. with his masters, not even speaking on the way he made sure and groomed, you know, potentially his own family, not even speaking on the numerous child stars from Justin Bieber to some of these B2K boys that have spoken on this man. You compared that man to Kai Sinat? You are disgusting. And that's all we're gonna speak on with that part specifically. To go on further, she then stated that this man cost and I had sent her $5,000 and basically said that this was this man's openly showing that he paid for her time and her worth. Yet the screenshots and dates didn't look correct. And as well as that, he openly stated and showed his side and showed his messages that showed no proof of that five bands going anywhere. However, what she did do was that she did threaten this man openly and then told this man that if he did not pay her a certain amount of funds, she would apparently expose his tape of him and her having done the deed. Now, many people don't understand the law, and let me explain this to you all. Anyone, man or woman, threatening you with financial gain is extortion. That is a crime. Not only is that a crime, that is a felony. You will get months to potential years in prison for that. That is a felony. That is a serious crime. Not only did this woman admit to extortion, she admitted to revenge yarn. Revenge yarn is when someone again does something like that, but they're also threatening to release your extremities as well. Not only did this woman that threatened costing that threatened revenge yarn but she not only did extortion but she then openly admitted to it and showed her screenshots of her admitting to doing the extortion and then recorded saying she did it multiple times god br 
bro, you cannot pretend to know where these kids went to school. She must have went to school in Arkansas or something, bro. Like, why would you hand someone such an alley oop to sue you? This is insanity. Now, going forward, a lot of people have come out speaking from ranging from Duke Dennis to even others just saying that sometimes you can do all the right things and still pick the wrong partner. And in Kai Snat's situation, it seems like he did the vetting, he invited her off the Lyft or Uber, and he made sure that she was situated financially for the basics. And then to be threatened that if you do not pay someone five to $10,000, that they're gonna expose videos of you all having relations, and they're gonna expose your face in photo. If we switched the roles and showed a man screenshotting a woman covered up in the bed, there would be no excuse by anyone that what she's doing is vile and disgusting, man. And I feel like people have this habit of always assuming because it's a young man and a young man of color, especially a young affluent man of color, that they don't have emotions, feelings, or have basic amounts of respect. He has a public image to uphold. Whether you all respect it or disrespect that, we all know that this man Kostanat's image isn't him having toolies out or, you know, having Zaza everywhere or, you know, having armed weapons. Like, Kostanat has a certain image that he tries to uphold. Whether it's the best image or squeaky clean, that's not the debate. The statement is just that Kostanat has an image of respect, of candor that he wants to uphold. And this woman is driving his name in the mud. This woman is trying to deface and defend his character. That is disgusting, man. That is suable. Not only is it suable, she's openly admitted to doing it. Not only is she openly admitted to doing it, she's recorded herself openly admitting to doing it. And not only has she recorded herself openly admitting it, she posted the video evidence as well. Many people don't know that she had also posted more than the photo, but it was taken down immediately. And her pages were also, at multiple pages, were taken down, or as you already know, she went and made them private. So, giving you all some context of how serious the situation is, I cannot understand how someone could be so dumb. And I'm not talking about Kai Sinat here. Anyone, man or woman, can make the move of having the wrong partner. Kai Sinat should have understood who he was as an individual, and we will give him rightful blame for that. He should understand that he's not an average Joe. You're a multi-millionaire who people will clout chase for and will do things like that to make a money kind of gain on that. And we have to give him the responsible amount of blame because he has to understand that with great power and great funds does come great responsibility. A real Spider-Man talk. But we have to not look at this in the wrong way. You cannot blame someone for being exposed, extorted, and then someone trying to make revenge yawn on them. That is disgusting and vile. And for anyone trying to blame Kasanat for being extorted, that is disgusting. And I pray that you do not have a daughter because for someone to blame a man for that, I can only imagine your perspective on a woman being put in that situation. Again, Kaisenat's situation is very sad because it shows that even if you have good intentions or try to do people right or have some type of respect or candor for them, you have to be very weary and very careful of who you interact and engage with. Because even if Kasanat sues this woman or does any of those things, it's still a net negative. He's given her over 50,000 followers. He's given her tens of thousands of dollars of money and revenue that have now come in because of all these things. He's given her a platform, even if he intended not to. And the sad thing was is that if he didn't respond to these allegations the way he did, it would have been worse more off because with situations like this, it's legally smarter to stay quiet, but it's socially and morally irresponsible to stay quiet. Not because it's a bad thing to do, but because you're allowing that narrative of people that are saying lies to run rampant. And I feel bad because in Kai's scenario, you're in a rock and a hard place. Do you speak about these scenarios more and let it be known? Even though you could risk being countersuiting and could risk your narrative being and your character being defaced? Or do you stay quiet and allow them to deface your character and your motives as well when you're a literal streamer who makes his money on that narrative? It's such a frustrating position that I can only imagine someone going through. Cloudy World, and let me know what you all think, man. Do you believe that Kostanat is in the wrong for this situation overall? Do you feel like he should have been smarter? How do you feel about the woman's role in this situation? Do you think that she's just evil? Or do you think that there's a point here? Let me get some discourse and give me y'all thoughts. Cloudy world, and we gone.